Hello there! Today I'm going to do something a bit different and uh, that is uh, testing the SJ8 Plus in a totally new way and I'm going to show you some of its uh, capabilities and why you don't actually need a GoPro 7 and why hyper smooth, hyper whatever is not that uh, great on the GoPro because you pay a lot of money to get that stabilized video and I'm going to show you how simple it is uh, to do that with an uh, actual camera that costs only around $150 uh, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more but you can do all that the GoPro, almost all that the GoPro 7 can do including that super smooth footage and that's why I'm walking and now I'm going to do some magic and I'm going to use two cameras that are filming the same thing and one of them, which is the SJ, will now activate the gyro which will smoothen out the video and now I'm walking with uh, the gyro and you can compare a non-stabilized camera with the gyro stabilized SJ cam uh, what is this gyro you may ask? It's a small uh, integrated circuit which measures the movement of the camera and the shake of the camera and then makes uh, electronic image stabilization which improves image quality. As you can see already the video is a lot more smoother than the camera which doesn't have a gyro stabilization activated on it for now. But that's not all. So you have paid $150 for the camera you still have a lot of money left uh, until uh, making the whole sum for a GoPro 7 which is around $400 so what can you do with all that money that's left so you can buy a cheap video editing software which will further improve your videos like this and now I'm walking again and I'm filming again with the SJ8 Plus and you can observe that the video is even more smoother. It's almost hyper smooth you may say. Well I'm now using an editing software and that editing software has some options to stabilize the video and I'm already using the stabilized footage from the SJ8 and that makes it hyper stable. So, uh, $50 the editing software, $150 the camera, I still have $200 left in my pocket and I'm filming in high resolution with an action camera that I'm not afraid to use anywhere because if I break it I still have money left to buy another one which is a great idea to have.